we need to estimate the natural frequency of the circuit, which here we are assuming that the, the, the natural frequency by this relation, let's say we are getting 500 hertz. So the 500 hertz, what we need to do is that we need to uh, inject the circuits eh, with the 500 hertz. So we are going to get external source and set that source to a frequency that is equal to the natural frequency of the circuit. So in this case, what we are going to do that, what we are going to do is that the external source is AC, that is AC2. We are going to set the AC2 to a frequency that is equal to the natural frequency in this case, which we say is, we are, we are zooming 500 hertz. So once we inject the 500 hertz into the circuit, because it's going to correspond with the natural frequency of the circuit, we are going to experience uh, resonance. So in a figure B, we see a situation where we don't have, where we have from, let's say from zero to 100 microseconds, we don't have resonance. But once after, if you look at T, when T at T equal to 100 milliseconds, we are going to inject a 500 into the circuit. Once we do that, you can see that we have high levels of voltage. It's not only high, but the voltage is also distorted. So we have high voltage and the voltage is also distorted. Now, even without a distortion, we have a problem. And with the distortion too, we have a problem. But we're not going to even look at the effects of distortion in this particular presentation. It's another case maybe in future we'll be looking at. But what we want to say is that resonance, one, it's the high voltage, and then the voltage is also distorted. That is what we can see from this particular, uh, let's say, simulation that we're doing. Now, another way we can also uh, examine resonance is look at voltage frequency scan of the circuit. So when we do voltage frequency scan of a circuit, what we see is that we see that at the natural frequency, which we say is uh, 500 hertz, the voltage peaks. Now at the natural frequency, that is where you see the inductive reactance equal to the capacitive reactance. So they cancel out because these two elements are directly opposite to each other. So once they cancel out, we have only a resistive circuit. The circuit becomes pure resistive circuit. Therefore, the voltage in the circuit becomes very high. Now, in order to solve resonance problem in a linear circuit, it becomes very easy because the point where it picks is only one, that is 500 hertz. So if I want to solve a problem here, all that I need to do is to get a filter and take off the 500 hertz away. Or alternatively, I should be operating my circuit such a way that I'm not closer to any uh, 500 hertz. Now, in practice, a question somebody will ask is that, how are you going to inject this circuit with a standard frequency such 